Hi guys, how are you? If you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. Marv is here to deliver the good word. Listen, I have not had time to get in full Marvelous Madame garb. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to hear it. I have to wear a regular shirt today, and I'm not going to show you what the shirt look like, but you can see this. So if you're interested in Marv wear, check me out. The links underneath the video. Teespring is where you can do that. There's going to be products and things of that nature that's going to be coming. So just calm down for everyone that's waiting. Thank you for being patient with me. I got a lot of good stuff popping. Now. The reason why you see me is because, like this, is because I wanted to deliver this message now. Obviously, this is for the beautiful sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There are beautiful messages here. I'm going to jump right into it. Um, I've been telling everybody that the decks for June is the vice versa tarot image on both sides for the main energy for your partner, okay? We're still clarifying with the illuminated tarot mini deck, blue for your partner, gold for you and your extension. We're pulling your energy, Pisces, with the wheel of your tarot, which was the same beautiful deck that I introduced to you guys for last month's reading. This is... How does your partner, bae, or whatever you call your boo, how do they feel about you, Pisces? Now, when I was pre-shuffling in your clarifying energy, you both came up with the exact same energy, and I stopped because I was like, whoa. When I started getting your oracle en energy, which I'm going to go into the oracle, that told me something completely, I'm not going to say different, but it definitely clarified these swords. Your relationship is going through a bit of transition. And I don't know yet because I'm looking at this. It looks like there may be a vice versa reading. I don't even want to write your rings. Roll with me. This is like that message that I delivered to you guys for Capricorn. The main oracle energy that we're going to be using. You know, you see I broke my pendant back out. I had to get deep for you guys. Is um, being um, delivered to us by the Ashalon Tarot. Um, there are going to be four different elements that is this author and illustrator have come up with in this alternate universe that I think is beautiful. The Court of Dreams to me is inter interpreted as swords. The Court of Gears is, uh, to me, is interpreted um, closely, okay, with the pentacle. The Court of Love, obviously, is the water suite, or suit, rather, um, Pisces, um, Scorpio, and Cancer. And then finally, the Court of Fairy would be Wands. So it's interesting to know what energy, not only what the card says, but what energy you're operating in, you and your partner. In my readings, you know it's a five-card reading, and we clarify each one and tie the whole thing together. Um, but the oracle messages is the energy between the two of you guys as well as far as, you know, what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and I did pre-shuffle um, all of your energy with the exception. Uh, I'm going to tell you what the bottoms of the deck is, but I want to go ahead and get started. The very first card is efficiency. Look how beautiful that is. Efficiency is the court of gears. That is earth energy. Someone here amongst the two of you guys, there's been a breakdown. This is letting me know without even reading the description, which I am going to do. There is a focus on getting something right here. There is a focus on um, not repeating the same mistakes, not doing something that you did in this relationship because it's a wrap for that. Okay. The next card is gift. Gift. Look how beautiful that is. This is the court of fairy, which would be um, the wand energy. Pisces, this makes sense for you because you are very imaginative. You know, you're a dreamy. That's that's your thing as mutable energy. So that makes sense to me. We have acceptance. Acceptance is from the court of love. 
Um, there is something here that must be accepted. And now amongst the two of you guys, you guys are going to be doubling down as a team, becoming more cohesive together, growing together, because let's face it, you can't really be in a relationship unless you are growing. Um, there is a lot of acceptance, but this is a good acceptance because they chose to put acceptance in the court of love, which is a beautiful, loving acceptance and not accepting something and moving on. This is accepting something and growing in that acceptance, okay? Then we have journey. Look at these cards, guys. This right here is the court of dreams, okay? Okay dream energy um being sword energy now the bottom of the clarifying deck was the three of swords okay so to me when i get this dream energy there's a dream here you guys are missing the mark or have missed the mark this is your clarifying energy in the past and it's making you feel rejected it's making you feel lonely all that okay we have perfection. Check that out. This is also the court of gears. This is doing something. We started out with efficiency, and then there is perfection. Both earth energy, grounded energy right there. So that lets me know that there is a focus on not doing something the same old way, the rigmarole. This is a focus on doing it right, okay? Okay. And last but not least, we have adventure. So there is a grounded, okay, beautiful, growing, love, evolving acceptance that's going on here. That, I mean, the court of fairy here, we have, we have two gears. We have one of love, the court of love, one in the court of fairy. One in the court of dreams, two in the court of dreams, which is journey and adventure. This sounds like wedding to me. Journey and adventure, the fool, wanting to take the leap of faith, and then we have perfection. So I'm going to get into these, um, these um, official um, descriptions, but let's keep it moving. So your first card out of how your partner feels about you is the seven of pentacles. That is the front. That is the back, okay? It makes sense. Then we have temperance, okay? This is your, your Sagittarius energy here. We also have the beautiful page. Look at that, the page of pentacles. This is an offer. Oh, it gets better. That's the front and then that's the back, okay? Um, I hear so many things when I look at the back of that card. I can't wait to share it with you. Then look at this, guys. We have the beautiful four of wands. Okay, and look how that sun is setting on those two. And then finally, we end with the hair font. So if you're familiar with the hair font and the four of wands being right next door, right next door, right next to one another, then you, you, your wheel should be turning right now. So... Let me break this down really quick, and then I'm going to get into this. First and foremost, guys, there has been a real transition. And honestly, hold on. I'm looking at this hair font. And, um, you know, I'm, this is Pisces. How does your partner feel about you? Well, your partner is reassessing in the process of reassessing what needs to be reevaluated in your relationship wanting the seeds that they have planted to manifest okay they have planted these seeds for growth and they're waiting on the movement in the past um there has the things haven't been right and this is pisces i feel like you not doing things to the fullest of your capability. I feel like there's a lot of things that you let go off at the wayside. And you, I feel, although this is how your partner feels about you, I feel like now you're realizing, especially with this temperance card, okay? 
you're realizing what you need to realize. I'm gonna clarify, of course, but let's get in it, let's get popping before I finish this with these descriptions, and then we're gonna finish because I have a, a, a marriage proposal here. But I want to let you know how you got to that. So let's start off from the very top. We're talking about efficiency. What does efficiency mean? Obviously, that's doing things right. Let's find out what the author is saying about efficiency. Efficiency is from the court of gears. That's going to be your earth energy. That's going to be your, um, your Virgo, your Taurus, and your Capricorn energy. Okay? That's going to be your grounded energy. That's going to be your getting it done type energy. Okay? That's going to be, you know, lacing up them boots and getting it together. Okay? That's what efficiency is. There's that card again. Turning this card over could mean that you need to work smarter and not harder. Okay? And that you may be making a particular task much harder than it needs to be. However, efficiency is not always about doing things efficient. You may need to take the time to do something with more thoughtfulness and care. I'm going to stop right there because I don't have these memorized. This is a new deck. That's what I'm talking about. So there is an energy between you and your partner, and that's the reason why they're here. I'm so tired of this popping up. Sorry, guys. That's the reason why they're here with it. Because your partner has invested a lot. They've invested a lot. They've done a lot. And I feel like now it's time for them to improve upon some things, yes. But more importantly, for you to step up to the plate and do things a little bit better than you have, okay? Earth, earth, earthy things. I'm not talking about just calling a person more. I mean, wherever it applies to you guys if you're watching this. I'm talking about earthy things. This is from the court of gears. So you're being guided to get out of the water and get back on land and really start doing things that solidifies something solid. That is what you're being called on to do. And gift happens to be the exact next card. This is um, this is the court of fairy. So the fairy is going to be dealing with our wands. So think about it, gift. Now, you know, look at that. When you turn over this card, it could mean that you're about to receive a gift from an unexpected source, or perhaps you need to bestow a gift upon someone deserving, lest you take them for granted. You see, do you see we get an efficiency and what suit that represents? And then the next card being gift that ties in line with this page, although a king of pentacles I would prefer to make this offer. But that doesn't make the offer less valid. That could mean that this individual, is, maybe they communicate like a page. Maybe they keep it loose and fun. Okay? But what they want, no less, is, is a lifetime with you. Okay? Let's get back to the point. It's time to buckle down, stop swimming in the water, and give your person that deserves a gift a gift. And when I'm looking at a gift and I'm seeing these cards, I'm talking about that wedding ring. I'm talking about that promise ring. I'm talking about something that's going to take this from we're just swimming um, in the pool to I'm talking about we cruising on the ocean. You understand what I'm saying? It's time for this to be transformed to the next level because the energy is already here, Pisces. Acceptance. Now, acceptance is from the court of love, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So, now this is time to accept. All right. All right. There will always be things in the world you can't change, right? So, keep. So you accept those and you keep going forward, always moving forward. Sometimes acceptance isn't black and white. Is, is accepting that someone doesn't like you easier to accept one and answers to additional questions? Acceptance doesn't mean giving up. 
Instead, it can come a pivot point where you make a choice to keep going forward in a new direction. There was some stagnant energy here. With these two threes, I told you, I'm, you there was there is two people in this union that want the same thing, but that were going about it two totally different ways. It calls loneliness, rejection, and heartbreak on the both of on 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 both of the parts. And I'm gonna tell you, Pisces, you're def definitely dealing with um you're definitely dealing with earth. There's some earth somewhere up and through here. Let's get popping. Journey. Journey is the dreams. The court of dreams. Um, that to me, that's your sword energy. So that 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 to me is you in your head. You stay in your head anyway, Pisces. Um, maybe the person that you're connecting with does uh does as well. Um, but someone is dreaming. Someone is definitely um okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's fairy. Ooh. I just jacked that up. Somebody still is dreaming. Because it's the court of dreams. That's sword energy, though. Okay. Where is it? Interesting journey. Where are you? You are number nine. So you're at the end. I apologize. I'm all jacked up. So the journey is being looked about, looked upon very thoughtfully. The journey is you using your head. See, this is planning. This is this four of wands. That's what this is. This is planning my life together. The above, amongst the both of you, there is a mutual. This is the mutual energy between the, the two of you, and you both want to marry each other journey okay listen we take many journeys during our lifetime okay who you travel with is very important a journey is much more fulfilling when taken with those who support and uplift you all right they can be adventures or they can be a dull trudge okay drawing this card may serve as a reminder that not all journeys are exciting but they don't have to be boring so you're being guided the two of you to not focus on the negative of a situation and not and not negative or all of the positive. You guys have to meet somewhere in between and make it work. Maybe somebody can focus on all of the, the things that can go wrong and the other person. You have to be the yin to the yang because you're being guided right here to accept this. And the only way you're going to be able to move forward is in this full energy of the journey. You don't know what's going to happen. You have to be willing. You've already accepted, and that's a loving acceptance, okay? And then we have perfection, which is the court of gears. Um, to me, that's someone, I'm telling you that's more earth energy, okay? So this is planning with the um, journey card. So someone is definitely planning a life learned journey together, that's what I am saying here, okay? Then we're going to go into perfection. We're almost done, guys. Um, and then we can start. So perfection is the court of gears, okay? That's my earth energy. That is my Virgo, my Taurus, and my Capricorn. And we know that, again, you're being advised to balance out. You're being advised to stop swimming, you're being advised to really buckle down and get it popping, okay? Perfection is simply per perception, okay? It's different for everyone and everything. Are you striving for perfection and not meeting it? Perfection isn't always about the time, place, or person. Some of the most beautiful things are imperfect. Look inside yourself and ask if perfection is something necessary for the task at hand. Or if the attempt to be perfect is holding you back from creating something beautiful. And that is exactly what's happening here. You cannot possibly go through all of the things in your head that's going to predict the journey. You can't possibly plan every single moment of your life that's going to be perfect, okay? You have to be, what? Re ready for the adventure. You're already accepting, but that is what I feel like you guys were doing. 
Last but not, but not least, we have the word adventure. And we know that that is my beautiful court of fairy. That is card number seven. I feel as if, okay, where are you? Oh, sorry, dreams. I don't know why I can't read today. It's dreams. I thought that said fairy. I can't read clearly. So this is more, more, more sword energy. Beautiful though. It's beautiful. So let's go. All right, to seven. This is the court of dreams. This is your air energy. This is more Gemini, Libra, and Aquarian energy with adventure. I automatically think of adventure like wands, but actually it's swords. Adventure doesn't have to mean you're crossing a, a, crossing a big ocean voyage. It can mean trying something new. An adventure, by definition, can be a risky undertaking, okay? Regardless of what happens when you seek out new adventures, you learn something new about yourself and the world around you. So it's time to accept. And I think all of these cards right here, if, if you read between the lines, you're picking up what I'm putting down. We got the Seven of Pentacles, Assessing. We have the Temperance card. We are tempering ourselves to deal with this. We've already accepted, okay? There's going to be an offer. There is an offer that needs to be made. Albeit it may be loose and fun, but don't let that page throw you off. Don't do it because there's something beautiful about this. And then there is a need to want to walk inside of our 1111. And there's the Hierophant. When we see these, the Hierophant is an excellent card for love. The Hierophant is a deep committed love. So again, this page may not necessarily be right now a full-blown marriage proposal, but this is definitely a commitment, Pisces, and that is what your partner is wanting. Let's go ahead and clarify so I can get you guys out of here and we can get how you feel about this Pisces in the extension. Okay? Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. There is a need to want to assess and figure out which way to go. There is a need to want to return on the investment with you. This is what they want to do. They're being patient. They have accepted. They want it with you, Pisces, okay? All right, Spirit, you're giving me two. All right, so all of these flipped over. I can tell you that there's going to be a conversation. Um, and there's going to be a conversation about the hurt. There's going to be a conversation about the pain. But there is going to be a mutual decision to move forward. All right, Spirit, thank you. This acceptance is beautiful. You want someone to love and accept you. Okay, that's the three of wands. There's going to be some work that's going to be done. And our wands, we have that too. Oh, I didn't even talk about the bottom. I'm sorry, the devil. That's, this is exactly what I knew I was missing. Then this is the three of wands. That's what made me remember. Okay. And then the ace of cups. Okay. I'm sorry, the queen of cups. She's the queen. I apologize. The queen. So if we go under there one more time, there's the ace of wands. So listen, energetically, there's a need for a new beginning. There is a passionate new beginning upon you. This devil is letting me know that there are some unhealthy attachments that you need to let go of. Your partner is feeling like you need to let go. And what you're trying to do right now is you're planning all over this. There is planning all up and through this. And there's going to be, this is the queen of cups. So someone is having to dig deep right now and really come out of this energy where they don't want to talk where they have to come clean with their emotions, okay, and stop hiding. I feel like um, that's what your partner feel like, feels like you have been doing, and you're giving a little bit and you're taking a little bit back, Pisces. Your plan is safe, and that is what your partner is saying here, and they don't like that. They want you to make an emotional, they want to see an emotional, um, 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 what's my word? gesture a big emotional gesture 
to submit the to, to, to submit the bond. There has to be something. Gift is already here. So I feel like that's coming. There's going to be a big gift. Um, they either expect it or maybe you guys need to give it to each other. Either way, gift is here. Um, but let's talk about these wands for a second because I feel like with these wands, we got it twice. On one hand, we have the foresight to do what we need to do and demonstrate some leadership. The, your partner possibly is going to take the bull by its horns and get this popping. So rather than th re when they're reassessing, they're reassessing how they're going to do that. And I feel like they want to leave behind playing it safe and kind of step out into the unknown, unknown themselves. Clarify temperance. But there's going to be a tempering that's going to be going on. Oh, yes. The queen of pentacles. Okay. So... <clears throat> this person is of your, you got to be connecting with some earth somewhere or have some earth somewhere in your chart. The person that you're connecting with, I feel like is earthy. And if it's not an earth sun, it's definitely an earth in the Venus or the Mars. Um, and you can have that as well. I'm not sure. Cause I just see a lot of pentacles grounding you very grounding energy here. Clarify this page of, of, of pentacles. See, look at that. We got the page. What do we have for this page? This is the offer. Yes, honey. I can't make it up. That's the damn Ten of Pentacles. Exactly. This is offering. This isn't no shabby offer. What's clarifying the fact that I want to give you, that's a big pinnacle. Look at that. Hold this. Pentacle, please. I'm turning my back on everything that did not serve me. I'm putting my, my, my bullhorn down. I don't want nobody in my business. I am, I got this pinnacle in my hand. I'm focused, man. Okay. That rhymed, but I wasn't trying to make that rhyme. And this is what's clarifying that. I want a life with you. I can't make it up. The next card is the four of wands. Okay. I'm just saying. That's what they want, Pisces. Go ahead and clarify this four of wands for me. Four of Wands, please. And then we got the hair font. Come on, man. Someone is trying to seek higher. Be the higher them. Ooh, wish fulfillment, baby. So it's some... Now I can't make this up. So we got we got it right here. We got journey. The journey is going to be the adventure. And we know that it's not going to be perfect because we're accepting. Okay? I feel like you guys... This is wish fulfillment. This is a wish. And you want, your, your partner wants to marry you. And they want to throw caution to the wind and no longer play it safe. But they, I feel like they need something. Okay, so yes, the king of pentacles. So we have a king and a queen here. Divine, feminine, and masculine. That is your person. We have a perfect balance of the energies. So um, that is what is wanted here. A union, masculine and feminine energy, a complete jail, con consolidated. Okay. They want to come together. This is absolutely beautiful. It's coming down. We have the judgment. That's what clarified it. They got the call. That's also the Ten of Swords. You can't go anywhere else after you bottom out like that. So this has been rough, but now it's coming to a close. Then we have that heated conversation. This is the Two of Wands. This person is having to dig deep and get their personal power popping in order for them to talk to you. That's what's needed. And then where do we end? With the Nine of Pentacles again. All right, this is an, oh, and see, I can't even make it up. Look at that. Right underneath. Seven of Pentacles. That's what that is. There is a lot of reassessing and taking the bull by its horns and demonstrating leadership. That is here. That is also the star card. If we peak, that is also the star card. Hope, healing, and optimism. Aquarian energy. And if you don't have air in your chart, that's how you're thinking. Let's get back to this hermit. While you, this is clarifying, by the way, and while you were clarifying, while you were clarifying, while you were in 
in, in separation mode, you were thinking about how this was going to happen. You guys have, if you haven't done anything else, you and your partner Pisces, you guys have darn sure been thinking not only about each other, but about what you guys are going to do with each other for the long run. We have two nines here. That means that there has been a little bit of distance. I don't know whether it's a town, whether it's a city, whether it's a street. You can live in the same town. You can live in the same house. There's been some distance because you guys are figuring out where you want things to go. And not the fact that you have to figure out whether you love each other. How are we going to do this? How do we translate this to reality? How do we get our dreams and our desires out of our head into the reality of this realm so we can start making it pop? That's what I see. And I'm going to go ahead and close out and let you know that I feel like this nine of pentacles is not I'm single until married and all of that. No, I don't hear single. I hear I got it. I hear I'm good. But I want to share it with you. That's what I hear. I'm good by myself, but you make me better. This is what I hear when I see this nine of pentacles, which is my single lady and single man card. And that beautiful image right there, which I have no idea what that is, a snail or something. This is also the hermit card. So while you guys have been in separation, whether it be physically or mentally, there has been a lot of hope temperance healing going on for the reunion and i'm going to tell you one last thing before i close this and catch you in the extension listen to this the hair font energy here your partner has been going to seek the higher them if you inspire this person to be the higher version of themselves pisces then congratulations you got yourself a wife or you got yourself a husband because let's just think about how many F nuts that we've dealt with in the past that don't inspire us to do nothing but may want to go and buy a handgun. Get ugly, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't promote violence. That was a joke. JK, JK. But they do make you want to bust them upside their head sometimes. And then you start looking at yourself in the mirror trying to make sure that you're real because you don't know what the heck you took that made you go temporarily insane and even be with this person. So if you got someone digging deep, trying to change the way they've been programmed their entire life just so they can spend what's left of their life with you, put your stamp on that, Pisces, okay? You can't get no better than that. That is the makings of a deep commitment and leading you through the, uh, the brighter path door. All right. If you care to, you know, it to see what's happening. I want to I can't wait to see how you feel Pisces then join me in the extension. If not, if this was sufficient for you, that's fine. Drop it like it's hot in those comments. Let me know how you're feeling about me interpreting how you feel about your Pisces. I did put on my fish. Okay, I don't know which way my fishy is swimming, but I got in this amethyst. I got I got my crown on. We rocking. So, I will catch you in the extension. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. One last thing, guys, if you've lasted this long. If you want to know about my beads, my bracelets, my crown, I like all of the stuff that I buy. Go follow me on Etsy. I'm going to eventually launch my products on there. It's going to be on Etsy. Marvelous Madame does have an Etsy page. You can go and follow me and see who I'm rocking with. And, me, and so you don't have to wonder whether this is a good product, whether it's a this or that. I meant to tell you guys that at the beginning. It's already 35 minutes in. But if you want to know about people who I purchased from, um, I like things in their store. You can always hit me up and I'll let you know. But these people do sell and I support, you know, people like me. So I'm out of here. I will see you next month when we do it again. Bye, Pisces.